Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how to load the Raptor CO2 ejection system. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the E-match, I'm going to twist the wires together so there's no accidental discharge through a static, so through a static discharge. I'm going to pull the sheath off and then I'm going to go ahead and clip it to about a half inch, three-eighths of an inch, it doesn't really matter. We're going to clip it way back and then we're going to reinstall it all the way back up to the E-match. And we're going to take the E-match, we're going to put it in the charge cup. As you can see, this one is what's called the V2 charge cup. It's also um, for, intended for a uh, single initiator. Normally I'm going to put epoxy right there. This time I'm, I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. So I pulled it all the way home. Now I've got a pre-measured um, charge, a pyro charge. This is precisely 0.2 cc's of triple seven black powder substitute. I'm going to take that and I'm going to carefully pour it on top of the E-match. Then I'm going to take one of these dots, it's just a cover, and place it over the powder. The whole purpose of this is just to contain the powder so it doesn't, it doesn't spill. So as you can see, I can just set it there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of silicone lube, put it on a Q-tip, then I'm going to take the pyro housing and I'm going to wipe silicone lube in all the, in the four exhaust ports and then I'm wiping the lube all the way around. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is going to take the, the loaded charge cup I'm going to put it in the pyro housing. I'm pushing it until it just just below the, the lip there. Okay. Then I'm going to set up the puncture piston. I'm going to put the spring on it. Just pushing it pushing it on like that so it's ready to go. Now notice I am not pushing this part down yet. I'm taking the puncture piston, I'm setting it on top, and then very simply I'm just going to push it like this. And so the spring pressure pushes everything home. And you can see that the charge cup is fully seated there. It's real simple. What's so important to do it this way is that there is not an air gap. If I were to push the charge cup in first and then try to push the puncture piston on top of it, there would be an air gap and that puncture piston would not be able to achieve the velocity needed to properly puncture the CO2 cartridge. Okay, next, th next up, simply screw it to the cap. We're there, hand tight. Take, I'm taking the same Q-tip with a little bit of lube on it, lubing this O-ring, no big deal. Screw the cartridge in. You want to screw it in very snug. Not super tight, but very snug. That thing's ready to go. Thank you for watching.